Hey guys, so it's been a little quiet on the YouTube end for the past couple days. We got the membrane sweep on Wednesday. It is now Friday the 13th and I was up all night from about 3 o'clock in the morning to, what is it, 7 o'clock p.m. now. So I've been really having contractions kind of all day. They really just started to pick up a pattern. They're getting down to be like six minutes apart-ish and they're finally starting to reach about a minute long. So the doctors say that they're supposed to be for an hour, uh, that they're happening five minutes apart for at least a minute. So we're starting to fall into that. So we're starting to time for the hour. It's gonna take us like 45 minutes to get there. So they technically say come after like two hours. So we're gonna spend an hour here. Fingers crossed that they don't stop because then that means that it's not really really going to be labor it's just pain for nothing so fingers crossed that this shit keeps just progressing because it's starting to get intense and i'm ready to go my app just said go to the hospital we're at the end of the street we're headed to the hospital now oh, just catch me in five minutes and you can watch how they feel i'm all be smiling then. Beautiful. yeah oh she's so cute it looks like she's just mustering through it no good night guys it's 10 o'clock, we just got to into labor and delivery. As we were pulling in the parking lot, my water broke. So I was kind of sketch about like coming in early, having to like go back home and do all that kind of stuff. But we timed them out perfectly. Literally as we were pulling into the parking lot, my water broke. So I just got checked in. Nurses say it's all good. I'm 100% effaced. I can't remember what she said I am dilated, but as soon as we get up to labor and delivery, she already knows that I'm signed up to get the good drugs. So I'm ready for it. I'm about to feel no pain. I'm so excited to get this ready and get it started and get over with and have him on the outside. So we'll catch up with you guys soon. But for now, I'll be right here. I had to change the outfit. <laughs> Doing. You should record one of my uh my contractions. Yeah, you want one recorded? Yeah, I'm all smiles now. She's so cute. How's she doing it? Good attitude. Not enough service in here to get a little bit of music going. Would that be your jam? Trying to get some Missy Elliott radio. Mm, mm. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Write me up a well. You got the medicine? <laughs> I feel like Jess has that chin. It's 4 a.m. and we're done. Like, we're, we're done. We're going upstairs to uh, afterbirth recovery, so... What was that, three hours total? Yeah, and as soon as we got in, we went from four centimeters to, like, eight instantly. Had I known, I probably would have skipped out on the epidural and just, like, squashed them out, because then I was too drugged up to actually feel it to squash them out, so... Whatever. But we're here. Morning, guys. It's, like, nine o'clock. I think we finally got him out and up to uh post what is it like the postpartum upstairs or whatnot we got here about four it's nine now so he's all awake alive he's not really awake right now but he's alive on the outside welcome to the world luca mr luca raphael hi little baby bundle you I'm did it mama i'm obsessed it's crazy. I probably wouldn't have even gotten the epidural if they would have told me that I went from four to eight centimeters in like the blink of an eye. And as they were doing my epidural, I was eight centimeters. But then at like two seconds later, I was fully dilated and he was ready to come out. So had I not actually done the epidural, I would have been able to push him out. And we would have came in at 10 o'clock and he would have been born an hour and a half later. So... He uh, only took four hours, though. Yeah. Three hours. And that was mostly waiting for the drugs to wear off so I can get some good pushes in. So he came right out like it was no biggie. So I'm so excited. My tummy's already shrinking. It's already easier to get up, move around. And he should be waking up 
soon and we're gonna do i think we're on our third feeding already so we'll keep you guys posted but for we're now do the photographs today yeah the nurse is gonna come back in our photographer lady is gonna come back in and his pediatrician should be here any minute now so we're kind of just hanging out here i think we're gonna stay till monday so we'll be here